Okay, okay, guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the last video and we're gonna get straight into it. So another great thing I found is using the camera. So <clears throat> a couple of things I'm gonna show you. One, how to make some groups, um which like objects, a few different weird complicated things, um, and then we're gonna get into uh, how we can add a camera and get things moving around and that. So quite simple stuff. Obviously, I've sort of done this in the wrong order. I've got so excited about using the library that I've honestly missed out. 10 11 steps so i'm going to go back and go through every single death a little bit so you know exactly what you're doing but for now just enjoy this and make a simple little platforming game with me today so first things first right i'm going to presume that you've already set up your, your index file make sure you've got all the uh, correct libraries in deleted all the rubbish that they give you from p5 and then we can get straight on so it doesn't do anything so far so what we're going to do is our standard we need to put clear in here that rhymed, sounds good. Um, and then what we're going to do is we've got our canvas, get rid of all the background for now. Um, get rid of that. What we're going to do is we're going to set some gravity. Well, dot gravity dot y equals 10 just for now. Change it later on. We've got our canvas, I'm going to set that to be a bit smaller. And I think you know what, we will set the background to be black for now. So we'll have a nice little, just so we can see, see the border and see where it ends and stuff. So we should get a nice little square here. And then we're going to make a nice new little, once it loads. Well, even that's been that's loaded there. Um, we're going to make ourselves a player. So we're going to say let uh, player. And then once that's loaded, we carry on the program. So let player equals new sprite, like that. Um, we're going to make it, oh, I think that's a bit too big there, actually. Um, so I've only got a small bit of room in here. New sprite, what shall I have it? Um, let's have start from 100 and 100. Um, you know what, I think we can just do this actually. And then keep it at 500, 500. Just because I think it looks this way. So we make it, we're going to set it to 100, 100. So down here somewhere where it's going to spawn. And then I'm going to make it 32 by 33. This will make sense later on if I decide to put the um, animated spray in there. Um, and yeah, we're going to leave that for now. So it should happen is we should get a little square should appear. Give it a colour if we need to. Uh, we'll give it a colour. Just check. There's no way it's lagging. You can't tell if it's... Is there a problem with my code or is it just being slow? Um, you never know. Could be either. We'll carry on until it figures out what it's doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the idea of this um, this group thing. So we're going to create the map. Okay, so we're going to say new variable, let walls. This is going to be like our sort of box that we're going to put in for now. It doesn't have to be a box, but I'm going to set it as a box. So I'm going to say let um, walls, so I've got walls equals a new group. Now, trying to simplify what a group is, it's a, it's a bit annoying. Um, if we look on the site, so let's look at groups. So it's a collection of and blueprint for sprites with similar traits and behaviors, because it's quite simple already. So look here, we can, you've got these collections of things. So the idea is we're going to have a collection of tiles or a collection of blocks in our game. So we're going to use a group for that. So we're going to make a new group. Um, where's my mouse? So we're going to make a new group. Like this. Then we're going to say walls.w equals 50. So the width of the walls, walls.height equals 50. Um, and it's going to be a bit weird here, but walls.tile equals an equal sign. And walls dot collider. So we can use this for anything. This, if you really wanted to, this could be, um, this could be up for your uh, enemies as well. You can do different things. Um, so yeah. So what we're gonna do for now um, is we're gonna add in some new tiles. I could do like my bathroom to be fair. Um, new tiles. Like that, and inside here we need an array. Oh, not that though. We need an array. Now I'm gonna leave the array for now. I'm gonna explain it in a minute, and then we just specify 
our block size is, and then walls.w walls dot h, just like that. Okay. Now, what this does is basically sets um, tells you where our tiles are going to go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to do it line by line. So if I want to have a really small map, so so ten grid long, I'm going to do that, and then the next bit in the array. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. You see that's going to be our um, like empty space. And I'm just going to copy that. Okay, now let's just sort of format it out so it looks nice. So you see now that should be a nice little grid. Now let's see if it works. I'm sure something will go wrong. Let's see if Reflex can actually play ball. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Is it freaking out? Do we need to refresh it? Hopefully not. But essentially, we're, we're um, making like a key, essentially. So what this key does is every time it sees an equals, it's going to replace it with this wall sprite we've made, which is just a 50 by 50. Um, nice little uh, object. We can do what we want with these. We can have movement and all sorts. It's entirely up to us. Now it doesn't seem to be playing ball, so we'll just give it a refresh and see if that sorts the problem. Because sometimes it can just be as simple as it needs to wake up a little bit. But what this should do is give us a nice little uh, map. And these this array can be as long as you want. So if you want to have like a full same level face level as Mario, absolutely doable, not a problem at all. Um, I can imagine some things get a bit awkward because you might have to have. Um, Different objects and things like that, but um, <laughs> on the whole, it's pretty simple, really. So let's just get it going and see if it's going to run something. See, it's still made in this. Why is it being stupid? <sighs> there we go. So now it's finally decided to play ball. I've not set a color, but we've got a little well, we spawned there and dropped in. So if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to have up here. Quite like the colours there to be honest with you, looks very good. If I stick that in there, I've got a nice little like bridge or whatever I wanted one for my game. Is it pixel perfect? No. But um I think for your basic platformer games it's absolutely fine. Like if you want it to slant up like that, yeah, it's not gonna be great. You might have to do, you know, equals there, you've got a little block. But I think it should be relatively alright for most of your games you're doing. Mate loads. So anyway, that's that's that done. So let's add in some uh, movement. Okay, see so I've got a little block there. So let's do um some left and right movement. So let's do if kb dot pressing and um, let's go for a else if kb dot pressing. D. Let's put speech marks in. Else if uh, so we want mouse pressing. Do I or no 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 we don't mouse in. Keyboard dot pressing and then space like that. So now let's uh, think what we need to do. So I need to do if I'm pressing a player dot x. So if I'm pressing A, I want to go backwards, so minus equals uh, 5, player dot Y, uh, X plus equals 5, and player dot Y. Um, let's, do, let's do player dot velocity dot Y. Um, like that. Mm -hmm. So I want it to go over and come back down. Apologies, my phone's going off. Um, so let's see how it works. Might be a bit slow, bit bit low, sorry, the um, velocity on there, but we'll see. So I can. Oops, did not like that, did it? Um, that was an interesting one. That's new to me, so let's see what's gone wrong there. Drive so slow. Um, so it doesn't seem for some reason to be liking any of that going black. So we've got a problem there. 
So three and X, it doesn't like that. I call it player. Aha, there's an issue with that. I put a let there. Like, I always keep my errors in, I always keep my mistakes in, I'm not perfect. Um, so I've redeclined it, uh, redeclared it in that scope so it couldn't find um, it later on in the program. So now we can't go through that because it's static objects. And then put a little jump there. And that's that. Now, what you might want to do is make the word a lot bigger. So we could make the sprite a hell of a lot smaller and make the world a lot bigger. So I'm just going to copy this line a couple of times. Like that. What we might want to do is have it so the camera actually follows our character, like in most games. So instead of just looking at the whole map at once and seeing where the enemies are, we want to see the enemies approach as we go along. Because you can make this longer as well. I've got a predetermined map I'm going to copy across in a minute um, and show you whenever it loads. There we go. So uh, you see that? That's, that's ridiculous. I can see the whole map. You know, that's that's not helpful at all. So what I can do is in my draw, I can do camera dot zoom equals three so I'll zoom right in so it looks bigger and then camera dot x equals player dot x camera dot y equals player dot y also I could make these bricks smaller as well to make a bigger map overall but just for you know fun see now it's followed us there cameras follow along there we go and suddenly I've got I've got a nice little game there you can cheat though at the moment and from like that if you want to fix that problem so if you go have asked me what you want to do is just uh, have it so and oh, uh, and player dot colliding with the walls which I think I've got PA yep yeah, so it's, if I'm colliding with anything in this group then I've got to do real things I can only jump when I'm on the floor essentially and that's pretty much all I wanted to show you really because that's that's the basis of a game. Um a few extra things you can do. What I might do is have a little play and do like a bit of an appendix or an additional part to the video of how we can expand this further. But um hopefully we're in a second. But as I remember you can go to my go into Tech Ed Online on RepLip and go ahead and fork this if you want to or look at the code, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't bother me one bit. Obviously I'd rather you wrote it yourself, but I shouldn't be able to fly now. Stay up and Went to the wall a little bit because I'm moving slightly too fast, really, for this thing. But because I'm so small, I can sort of almost fit through some of the gaps, and get a bit annoying. Um, I was going to place it with the image as well, but yeah, so go ahead, take a look at my stuff, and um, like, subscribe if it helps. If you make some games, make them in it, link them into the uh, comments, get some traction on your profiles, or just let me see because I really do enjoy seeing some of the games that you guys have made using my help because you know that's why I'm a teacher. Um so yeah, so those are the basics there. And uh, what I might do is an additional video on how you can put moving sprites on there. Um what I flick across is one example I've I made earlier on with a much, much bigger one. So now it looks like I'm trying to end the video and I carry on, but <laughs> it's one for me earlier on. I think it's pretty good. Um so I've got a little moving sprite when it comes on. And then um nothing special, it's pretty much the same format. But the level's much longer. If you look at my code here, my level's a lot longer. And this can be as long as you want. So I think the hardest thing is extending it, but you could always as well have like a level editor where you can choose, you know, to put in the equals and things. You could input a string or make a text file, upload a text file and that that imports the game quite easily. So you'd have multiple levels quite quickly. God, that took absolutely ages. Um, I've had to cut the video and resume it because my internet is terrible. I don't know what's going on with it really, but I think it's in the loft maybe. I'm not sure, but either way, this is the game that I managed to do early on with a bigger map. So, a little doggy runs along. Not perfect, but he runs along. Fell him off. Restarts me again. I'm trying to remember where the stairs are. I've got some stairs. I've got to jump up. Oof. Close. Some little stairs there. And then, wow, 
No, it's like he lets you carry on. <laughs> that's a little bug I'm going to fix, but there you go, that's the game there. And um, what's quite funny is that if you, you, you can keep points, like an infinite spiral, and the velocity gets getting bigger. It's always good to see if you find a bug in your game, but um, I'm sure it's something you can quite easily fix. Um, but yeah, so as I said, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, please. Any comments, and if you make a platform game, especially if you make one look better than mine, add some textures to it and things, that'd be excellent. Show me in the comments, and I'll have a little look. I'll see you in the next video.